Hey, I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com and this is Get Organized, a weekly series of videos and articles about organization. This week I'm going to show you how to organize Windows 8 tiles. Before you can start organizing your tiles, you have to know how to move them around. So you just touch an app gently and pull it down. If you touch the app too hard or too long, it'll launch the app. Now you'll see a blue bar appeared at the bottom. Those have some more options. I'll talk about them in a little bit. And as you want to move it around, you just drag it on the screen and release where you want it. Let's take another look at that blue menu bar. When you drag an app down, the menu bar pops up. You'll see one of the options is Unpin from Start Screen. That's the one you want to use if you want to get rid of the tile altogether from your Start Screen. Don't worry, it won't delete the app from your system though. These larger rectangular tiles aren't always what you want, so to make them square you just pull them down and choose that smaller button. To make the tile larger again, we do the same thing. Tap it, drag it down, and select from the menu bar Larger. You can't resize all of your tiles, but many of them you can. All the way on the right of that blue bar was an All Apps button. That's the button you use when you want to add a tile to your Start screen that isn't there already. This is the screen you'll see. Windows 8 also lets you group tiles together, and you can move those groups in mass. To do so, just zoom out and then use that same tap and drag down motion. So you can very quickly drag them around to however you want them to appear on the Start screen. You can also name them if you have a specific group name you want to give it. A lot of people group their apps together by theme, but I think a smarter way to do it is by workflow. So put together the apps that you tend to use in conjunction with one another. That'll make them easy and efficient to use. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy, helping you stay organized. You can email me any questions you have at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.